Fala galera, uh, this will be my last match from this tournament. Um, I feel like the last round that I lost, there's pretty much nothing to talk about. Uh, I lost to a Dragon Link, game 1, no hand traps, got combo, game 2, he hops feather, and I only had Dryden't and he played for it. Like, there's nothing, I lost in like 5 minutes, so there's nothing to comment on that, it is a pretty much standard type of combo matchup, sometimes it just happened like that, and yeah, so this is going to be my, the last match I will comment by the, from this tournament, so yeah, let's, let's go here, this is a vir virtual world deck, oh, it's too fast, sorry, 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 so virtual world here, um, I played against two, this is a matchup that I'm still learning, I mean, I know a lot of things, but I'm there's a lot of room for improvement always. So my last round was also a virtual world. I I I I, I comment that in Portuguese, so we will have one in Portuguese and one in English about this matchup. Um, so I make the dragon here, and that's it. I make like that really small because I felt like it would be really likely for me to use the bureau. To be honest, I didn't know the matchup. Uh, I realize now <laughs> which the matchup is. So yeah, he summons the Lulu here, and it's fine. He normal summon this one, uh, and then he make Juju, which is interesting. And I don't know if I agree, but like it's weird. My Dryden got a lot of value from this because now this can die, but if he uses effect, he can because now he doesn't have the the monsters to make itself pro uh, protected like it cannot be destroyed by card effects while you have two or more monsters in your graveyard with the same original type and attribute he had that before right he was psychic and win so but in order to use the effect he has to banish so by the time he banishes he got he doesn't get the protection anymore it's cost right uh, I, yeah, it's cost. So yeah, so yeah, I changed Ryan so that I so it wasn't that bad. I trade, I trade my Dryden it well in the situation. I think uh, with two cards. So I think that's a good trade for me, especially be, especially since I was assuming my Dryden would be dying anyway, since I would most likely have to use the Imperial this turn. So I think that was a really good scenario for me in the end. Um, so that's also good for me because he already summoned three times, so that is a big likelihood that many bureau will like do well here. So that that's even why I didn't ash or anything. So he summons that, uh, and then he summons the this guy, and if, and then he used the TT to to hand, and then I chain the bureau, uh, which I think makes sense. I think. He made a mistake. He should have used the CTT before uh, uh, using Lao Lao. Makes no sense to use in that order. In that order, only what you achieve is make me the possibility to chain Bureau to TTT. So, yeah, th th that was definitely a mistake. And just for the record, I would be destroyed by this card for the millionth time now. I fucking hate this card. So, yeah, this is. It's not okay. This card is not okay. So yeah, I only got some value from this because he did in the wrong order. Like most of the time he would have taken the Nibiru from my hand and then I would have need to ash this. So so he would have kept Lao in hand. So yeah, I chain Nibiru. This has a big defense, no attack. So I put in attack, I think. Yeah. And... He took Ash, I think. Yeah, that was what happened. And he has one unknown card, and that's it. So it is kind of weird game, right? Like I drew a lot of defenses, but no, no play. So I just attack and pass, I think. Yeah. Um, but he still needs to draw something, right? And he didn't. He didn't know about the new Disney Bureau, so that might be useful. Um, so he drew and passed. So he bricked. I drew land. Which is good, like it's a slow thing to do, but it's decent. 
so I use the land, I will get one of the, the traps, I wouldn't get one of the traps, but he ashes, it's fine, I think it's okay, still, so yeah, he needs to draw a monster, he didn't, again, so this is most likely the trap, so, again, fine, so we went to a, a really simplified game stage where I think my deck is much better in that scenario, so I drew a Maximus, and this Maximus was really good, I think, so... I will use the land, try to bait this one, and I did, so that was good. So he used the effect, sand, I was in a trap, and this has no effects left, because there is nothing vanish. So I think I will use Maximus here, yeah, exactly. Ah, this is game, <laughs> this is game, uh, because of the life point, so yeah, that was it. But even if it wasn't game, I would have like ways to use Maximus, shuffle this, send cards, like, get a lot of value from this, so, but that was enough. Uh, so yeah, that was a game room, a really uncommon game room, really weird, like, but the the play where he used the TTT after use Lao Lao, I don't think there was any reason to do that in that bar, or, order. So my hand is Nibiru, Cyclone, Barrage, Ram, um, Sanguine, I think it's a good hand, it's a good hand. So he summons that, so this is also a Nibiru situation, where I try to get as much value from the Nibiru as I can. So he already got the Lao Lao discard and then link it away for this guy who draw cards, so he draw one. And he set set and pass, and this is, was really weird. I, I, I don't understand what's happening, to be honest, exactly why things are happening this way. Um, I didn't have to use any bureau, so that was really good. I don't know why he played that way. Maybe it was better to get GG. It is GG, the name? Yeah, GG. And then summon GG just to get... And then do that just to make sure you have the, the Lulu in hand. Again, I'm not super into this deck. But it sounds like there was better things to do with this. So, I mean, this was perfect for me because this card is really expensive to, to pop a, a zoo, for example. So in here, I just summon around Rand and, like, he used the effect, okay. So, like, this was really expensive, really expensive. So, yeah, there is no follow-up in, in, in his end. I, I doubt that was correct. I really doubt. Like, he had follow-up. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. He had he has no effects in Grave. He can't even use the trap. If he has the trap. He had the trap. He had the trap. It was a trap in a twin. This twin shouldn't be in the deck going first. Neither this Duster, which he's discarded. So, I feel like he had some deck-building errors in, in his position here. And yeah, so yeah, he was extremely punished by this, and I think now he's going to get Zeus. Uh, yeah, he was really punished by the, the 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 barrage, but still, like I could have a lot of things. Land would be insane, Nadir would be insane. So there's so many cards that would be really good in the situation. So I guess it was fine. Like me having barrage wasn't like the end of the world here. So we'll attack to banish that, just in case. And Zeus is going to say okay, and then it's like it's impossible to lose. Uh, yeah, there's not many things to comment to be honest. Like in this game too, looking at the cards he had, some experts in this deck can say if there is anything that he could do better. I mean, he could. This is weird. Like he already had that, right? He drew that. So he could have made the Shang Shang and then summon this. Hmm. Summon this, then he has to send a spell. Yeah, there is not much you can do, that's sure. Like this is weird, like you have everything and you can't do anything. Like am I missing something? Because how, you, you can't make VFD, I think. 
he definitely had to have a way to to use the trap effect in Grave to make the trap on the board live. I'm almost positive something had to be done differently in this turn. Like, end on only this crocodile thing without the trap alive, for sure wrong. Like, there is no way. Like, a Samazu, and you are like, you have to use that and discard your entire hand. So, definitely something different sh should have been done. But now, like, he didn't even have to use Nibiru. I mean, he probably would have lost some Nibiru play, for example. But still. Uh, and then there's nothing you can do here. Yeah. So, this was a game that, <laughs> like my last game, I, for I, I to be honest, I forgot it was that weird. So... Yeah, like I'm still learning this matchup. I will talk a little bit about the matchup since the 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 video was uh, so fast. Uh, this matchup is more difficult than I thought it would, but as um, as the time goes by, I I'm getting better. Uh, I'm realizing more situations, and this deck feels like really what's the word for that and I'm not gonna say unbalanced it's not unbalanced the word that I want right high roll is high roll like it, it sometimes is like play through like a, an obscene amount of hand traps and also because it is kind of immune to most of them so you the the more mendeckable hand traps that it, this deck got hit by is Gamma and Ibiro Nash. The other hand traps are not super impactful. If 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 you even can use the effect of them, and then even then, sometimes you can destroy your your opponents like with a good combination of Vitor with, with like cards, like especially in hands where you have a good amount of them, and you end on like everything plus a lot of follow ups, traps alive, like it's insane. But sometimes you lose for a reason, like for your own card. It's so weird. Like it's, it's the type that, of deck that I really dislike existing the way it is because it's either unstoppable and whatever he does, like the trap and the VFD, is almost unbeatable. And then sometimes you lose for no reason. So the outcome of the the winning of the losing of the match is. Many times, not most of the time, but many times, out of the hands of the players. And this is the definition of a bad situation, in my eyes, as a competitive player. Uh, maybe there are players who like that type of thing. I'm not into that. So, this is the definition of something that I really dislike. And it sounds like that. I think this deck has a, a good skill ceiling. I'm not saying it's a easy easier deck to play, but I think still you find yourself a lot of time hostage of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I know it's weird to say that, but you're hostage by the cards that you drew, that more that you drew, less than you knew, than your opponents drew. And then if you, of course, more competent players can get more value from the cards that you use in this deck than uh, other players that are not so familiar with the deck but it's still many times even good players I feel like you, you find yourself a lot of times in situations that there is nothing you can do especially going second so I know this deck is really strong but is really weak to interruptions. Going second, going second, not going first. Going first is the is where this deck shines like a lot. Sometimes even more than combo decks like Dragon Link, because Dragon Links like you you, you have the option to put 21 hand traps in your deck if you want, and all of them will be useful. Like you you can like use the ogre, you can use the Impermanence, you can use the Vili, whatever. So. You can't active the cards in <laughs> here. It's not like that. Like you can easily get combo with a Veiler hand. There is nothing you can do with the Veiler. So yeah, 
you don't even have the tools to try to counter and the tools to counter that are really weird counters like cyclone and then you have that have a deck that doesn't care about too much about VFD. Imagine if you play a, a combo deck or a mirror match of this deck, you're completely relying on what your opponents draw and the few hand traps, few, and that's an important important word, few hand traps that you might have. There's not many cards that you can put, uh, even if you want, like let's say you want to put 15 cards for the mirror match playing virtual world. I don't know if you can. <laughs> like it, It's weird. Wait a second, right? It's, it's really weird. Um, and that's really bad for the game in in a game design standpoint and a competitive standpoint in my opinion so i really hope that uh, calamity is banned i don't know if that's going to happen i think it's not going to happen unfortunately it should it definitely should this deck's not bad like it will be bad because of consistency issues because now people only play this deck because of vfd i don't know if vfd is banned people will keep playing this deck like is get get off the jail card like sometimes you just m use your entire hand and making VFD the opponent pass back it's absurd so I don't know if people will play this deck if that happened probably not uh, he's, he's probably the selling point of this deck which makes me think that probably Konami will not ban this card this card will be banned in Japan for sure and maybe in, I don't know three six months for now it will be banned here finally because they finally found a home and yeah we'll and this is the type of deck that I don't like the I don't feel like the players had a lot to do with the the outcome of the match in this match it had but more because my opponent decision not my decisions and that's what worries me that I'm as a person not having a lot of, um, as an opponent of this deck I don't have a lot of saying well, where I use my hand traps matter that much, especially with TTT around. So, yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you guys like it, and see you next video. Bye.